Welcome everyone to the final death battle! A show that takes two fictional characters from different series and make them face head to head for a glorious battle to the death. They each will be tested based on five selective categories listed. Endurance, combat technique slash skills, emotional stability slash morality, wits, and power slash weapon. Only one winner can come out of this. Are you ready? Today's final death battle is between two skillful main characters who share the same series and pilots the infamous mobile suits called Gundams. Now I present to you, Setsuna F. Seiya from the 2007 Gundam series 00 versus Mikazuki Engus from the 2015 Gundam series Iron-Blooded Orphans. Now to make things a little bit fair, we will be looking at these two pilot skills and mobile suits from the first season considering that Iron-Blooded Orphans is still an ongoing series till this day. And without further ado, let's get started! Set in the year 2307 AD with the depleted sources of fossil fuels, humanity has found a new source of power in the form of massive solar power rings orbiting the Earth. But even with this, war still rages on as little countries still struggle for the reach of such resources for their people. Thus, a man by the name of Yolius Schemberg devised a plan 200 years ago to completely eradicate war by force. This created the organization called Celestial Being, an armed force organization that uses mobile weapons called Gundam to accomplish this such task. Piloting these Gundams are four Gundam Meisters, which among one of them is our beloved protagonist, Setsuna F. Se, with his mobile weapon, Exia. Introducing Setsuna F. Se. He was once a child soldier of Kruja's descent in the war-torn Kruja's Republic. Forced to kill his parents in the name of God, Sisina holds a huge grudge towards Aliel Sanchez, the organizer for the act. Ever since being recruited by Celestial Being, Sisina has been trained in the complexities of the mobile weapon, GN-001 Gundam Exia. Set in the year 323 PD. 300 years after the Great Calamity War that almost wiped the human race to extinction, new conflicts arose on Mars as governments became corrupt and children are being sold as objects through human trafficking. Mikazuki Angus, a member of the CGS private security company, is one of many child soldiers working to make a living in such a planet where poverty is at its maximum. Though a sudden turn of events that led to CGS downfall, the new group called Tekkenen, led by Orga Itzka, is now on the track to escort Kudelia Ayan Bonstein, a girl with great political influence, to Earth in order to liberate the Mars Sphere from the corrupt control of Galahorn. Introducing Mikazuki Angus Lost his parents at a young age, Mikazuki became an orphan. He eventually befriended his newfound companion, Orga Itsuka. Although trouble stirred up as they found themselves trapped in an alleyway with hostile people, at the sight of Orga's injuries, Mika fired and shot the hostile people before any further harm arises. After some time, he then later joins up with the CGS and obtains a surgery which enhances his abilities as a mobile pilot, thus resulting in a device that is embedded into his spinal cord called the Alea Vanyana system. Now, Category 1, Endurance. Both Mika and Setsuna have gone through hell, as they both had to survive without the assistance of any parental adults. Setsuna, since a young age, has been trained in combat and had to actually fight in a war, even kill his own parents. Mikazuki, with no experience in war, but did in fact kill at the young age, didn't gain any endurance he needed until after joining CGS. This is honestly a tough one, although only one winner can come out of this, and that winner would have to be Mikazuki. It is later shown that Mikazuki would keep fighting even at the cost of his own life and bodily functions shown at the end of episode 25, while Setsuna would retreat when necessary. Mikazuki 1, Setsuna 0 Category 2, Combat, Technique, Slash Skills Setsuna has been in military training since a young age, which again was mentioned before, so he definitely has experience in terms of combat techniques and skills. On the other hand, Mikazuki doesn't start training till after he joins CGS. Even then, he's, he is only experienced in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but not mobile suit tactical combat. He relies more on being aggressive and his tactics are based on what orders he receives. Setsuna has thoroughly mastered guerrilla tactics and other combat techniques, taught to him at his time in Celestial being on top of his young military soldier training. So this round goes to Setsuna. Mikazuki won, Setsuna won. Category 3, 
emotional stability slash morality. Not many people take this into consideration, but morality and emotional judgments are a huge key factor in a fight. Even though Setsuna has gone through hell as a child and tries to cut off all emotion during his missions, he is later depicted to hesitate and give mercy to his enemies when he believes they're no longer a threat. Because of this, he can become off guard like shown in the fight against Alian Sanchez where they both get out of the mobile suits. On the other hand, Mikazuki deprives himself of any emotion or morality thus making him a reckless killing machine as shown in episode 2 where he mercilessly kills the pilot Crank without any further conversation. This makes him superior in terms of being a soldier in combat. This round goes to Mikazuki Angus. Mikazuki 2, Setsuna 1. Category 4, Wits. When it comes to fighting and advanced mobile weapons, having wits is a huge key aspect, especially if combating another highly advanced weapon. Setsuna F. Seiya has had a proper education after he joined Celestial Being and can be assumed that he studied advanced tactical warfare and how to counter it. This gives him the edge over other pilots. Unlike Setsuna, Mikazuki hasn't had any kind of formal education due to his unnecessary necessity of literature as shown in the show. As a result, Mikazuki relies on his instincts and the Alia Vignana system which directly connects to his nerves and the brain which allows anyone to be able to pilot any mobile weapon. Even if that was true, Mikazuki lacks in wits, unlike Setsuna. This round, Setsuna takes the cake. Mikazuki 2, Setsuna 2. Category 5, Power Slash Weapons. This round is a big difference between life and death for our two contestants. Only one can claim to be the superior warrior. Setsuna FC has a mobile weapon called Exia. Mounted Weapons, GN Sword, Two GN Beam Sabers, GN Shield, GN Rifle, Special Abilities, Transam System. Mikazuki Angus has a mobile suit called Barbatos. Due to his drastic change at the end of Season 1, we will be using the Gundam 6 form. Mounted Weapons, Special Wrench Mace, Longsword, Arm Auto Cannon, Special Abilities, Alea Vignana System. Now that we know what each mobile weapon is capable of, it's time for us to see which one will win the final! DEATH BATTLE! Initiating simulation. And with Setsuna's intellect and tactical warfare, he for the moment has the upper hand. Toying with Mikazuki as he swings his mace, Setsuna would easily maneuver around due to his Exia's lightweight slim body with its special propulsion system. On the other hand, Mika would be having trouble trying to land a hit due to Setsuna's maneuvers. Mikazuki then advances and tries to call Orga for orders, but unfortunately, the communications are jammed due to Exia's GM particles. Figuring this out, Mikazuki continues to attack. Setsuna had enough of toying around with Mika, so he tries to initiate and starts firing his beam rifle. Mika swiftly dodges all three shots from the beam rifle and then continues by using his forearms auto cannon. Setsuna uses his GN shield to protect himself. After seeing that his beam rifle would be unaffected due to Barbato's swiftness, he decides to try a close combat approach by taking out his own twin GN Saber. He strikes the Barbato's, but Barbato's tries blocking it, although one of his beam sabers cuts his chest armor plate and cuts his mace. Seeing this, Mika takes his broken mace and swings it aggressively in an uppercut manner to keep a distance towards him and Cessna. Mika then switches to his longsword and rushes towards the Exia. Exia with his beam sabers attacks, but Barbato swiftly cuts the beam sabers from the Exia. Exia then initiates his GN sword and slashes in front to push the Barbatos away. The Barbatos then dodges it by thrusting backwards. Now both Barbatos and Exia are to the standoff, anticipating each other's moves. Barbato makes the first move and uses his sword to slash the Exia. Exia defends by using its shield and then continues to counter by using its GN sword to slash Barbatos. Barbato swiftly backs up and slashes his sword towards the ground to make a smoke screen. Confused, Cessna slashes the air with great force to clear it, but then Barbatos comes from behind and slashes. Exia tries using its shield again, but gets cut off at the mount and breaks. At that moment, Exia uses its GN sword to attack and destroys Barbato's right arm armor plate. Both reaching their peaks, Setsuna decides to finish this battle off by using his trump card, Ranzam. Setsuna prepares his GN sword and quickly shifts around Barbato's to attack Barbato's directly. He successfully cuts Barbato's armor. Seeing this, Mika asks Barbato's for more power. 
and then all the torn armor from Barbatos falls off leaving the upper body of the Barbatos almost defenseless. Seeing this, Cessna strikes once more with its Gian sword but suddenly Mika swiftly dodges it and comes from behind, striking Exia's left arm and cutting it off. With only one arm with the Gian sword, Cessna gets ready to thrust into Barbatos with it using its final moments of Trans Am. Mikazuki's Barbatos grips its sword and uses full thrust towards Exia. A moment of silence befalls the field as both mobile suits stand at opposite facing directions. Suddenly, the Barbatos drops his sword and then. Setsuna wins! And that is the final death battle! Unfortunately, even with Mikazuki's aggressive and enduring tactics, it is simply no match for Setsuna's mobile suit. The Exeus Transam system is just too strong. Mikazuki surely could handle the first couple of blows, but he could only ask so much of the Barbatos in terms of speed before affecting his health. The Exia was just too fast. Mikazuki already had the disadvantage considering that Barbatos does not have the ability of flight, and thus is chained to the ground while Setsuna's Exia has a propulsion system which enables him flight and maneuverability. If it was a battle of hand-to-hand -hand combat, with no flight, Mikazuki would hands down win. But unfortunately, it was overwhelmed by the Exia and its overpowered Trans Am system. And with that, I declare Setsuna FC Season 1 to be stronger than Mikazuki Angus. If you guys enjoyed this final death battle, please by all means subscribe and leave a comment telling me what you want to see in the next final death battle. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates on future installments and upcoming videos. And again, as always, thanks for watching.